Hello, it's Joe Lines, and uh, this is <laughs> this is a very simple use of auto hotkey, but um, it, it tends to save me a lot of time. So, one of our tools we use for sending our emails, um, we send a lot of we create a lot of tests and seed lists. So you can see these are um, some that were were done for last year. The problem is they build up in this folder, and then there's no easy way to to get the the ones we want and to move them into a particular folder. And so I would basically have to come in here and select them one at a time. So starting right go up a few more. So well, starting at the beginning of the year. Alright, so this one, this one, this one, and you can see how tedious this would be. So I read a little script that I can just hit a button and it goes through and selects. Now because I'm gonna move them the first quarter, that was too many. So basically I'm gonna come back in here and say, let me get it back where it is. I'm going to hit my button again. It's going to go and it's just selecting them and deselecting them. And because I did a couple up front, it went a little too far. What I also did, and I don't actually remember the hotkey for it. Let me get back to my script. So I have two different ones here. This one, Control L, says, okay, if I'm in Chrome, and it's looking to Chrome, make sure it's Chrome, the first it's going to ask me how many times do I want to loop. And then it'll do that loop, and all it's doing is sending... Um, tabs, so so watch how, how easy this was when I figured it out, was once we get on here, this is why I have to hit it the first time, so it's going to, oops, sorry, so it's going to be here, click, now tab, tab, now see it's on it, did you see they get highlighted, I hit the space bar, space, tab, tab, I'm on it again, space, right, so that is what this script is doing, send two tabs, sleep for just a five, which is uh, a thousand is a second, so it's a super tiny amount of sleep here, and then send the space bar, um, as if I had hit it. So, again, on this one, let's say, uh, I c what's nice is it's flexible, so if I only wanted to do it ten times, and I'm going to say control L, let's just say ten, and it does it ten times, and it's still, unfortunately, in this example, oh, I wasn't even in the right spot anyway, but it doesn't matter, right, so I'm going to, let me do it again, control L, 10, now this will uncheck those, might left a couple, it's fine, um, let's go back up top, and actually, you know what, let's start, let's see, what a 9, 10, 8, wow, there's a lot of 8, so that's a third quarter, I believe, yes, so 6, so 7, so I'm going to go back, and I think my, though I think the default is 50 on that one above, and see how we're still in, um, August. Still plugging along. Do it again. Now, if I had known that there were hundreds, I could. This is when I still could have used my other one and said, "Do this a hundred times, or do it two hundred times." Um, and I'm going to get these and select them all. Uh oh. Wow. So apparently, it uh it went to the bottom and then it it sent tab tab and and reset. I didn't realize this ended right here. I thought there were dates past it. Let me make sure here, uh, but you get the general idea. It, it saves a lot of time. Usually, I'm doing this on a different. These are the test and see list. I usually do it on the, the contact list that I upload. Um, but let's go back in here and try this again. And this time, I'll pay a little more attention to the side button here. And also, let me demonstrate. So here we are at eight. So oh, we want the seven. So seven. I'm gonna say Control L, and I'm gonna say two hundred. That still might be too many. And that's going a long way. Stop, 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 stop. I'm going to hit... Oh, look at that. Wow, that was that was beautiful. So, I'm going to do another 10. Just because I'm lazy. Alright. And, uh, and I don't want to have to worry that I mess something up here. And then I'm going to say... Move to... Folder... Anyway, um, I, I won't uh, bore you with how slow this can be, but um, as you can see, that can that can really, really help speed up the selecting of items, or deselecting, whichever one you're trying to do. It's just basically a toggle, but just remember, it's it's like the tab, tab, and if, if in IE, um, interesting enough, there's like three tabs, and I have to do that instead of two. So it just depends on your browser and what you're doing. I do have, and I have in my notes here, I haven't done it in a while, but... Um, 
the Chrome, for some reason, when I did this in Chrome versus IE, it was it was a lot faster in Chrome, which is why I'm doing it in Chrome. Um, I, I haven't used it in IE in quite a while, but I don't remember exactly what the problem was, but uh, again, it's, it's that simple of, here in this one, it's saying, use the browser back, when I hit the browser back button, and I'm in Chrome, um, do 50 loops, right, and I can change my default here very quickly too, but I like, I keep it around 50, that seems to be the right um, number, and then it says, okay, send two tabs, sleep for a little tiny bit, then send the space bar, and what gets to here says, oh, okay, go back and do this again. So it goes through and counts how many times it does this, and it does it and stops at 50. This one, this is the one where I say I hit control L, L just for me is for loop, so I remember that, and it's going to ask me, it gives me an input box and says, hey, how many times do you want to loop, and it stores it in this loop count, and you notice here when I highlighted this word, it showed it again here, that's because whatever gets stored here, it will loop through, same as up here, right? It'll loop through that that many times. And it's that easy, thanks.